Today we're going to be talking about the Sales and Success Center and what motivates salespeople. Is it dollar signs, commission? Maybe, but we believe it goes much deeper than that. I want to tell you about, sorry. I want to tell you a story on how Sales and Success Center CRM helps salespeople reach their goals. In this scenario, a salesperson, Chris Porter, will be selling digital marketing services to three different businesses in three different ways. Let's meet Chris. He's tech savvy, but new to selling digital. His problem? He's finding local businesses can be hard to sell to. It'll take him on average 10 to 13 touches before he closes. So consider this. How does Chris have time to research, personalize, and pri prioritize his sales, all while nurturing his other prospects? To help Chris, we have Sales and Success Center. It's a fully integrated system to research new opportunities, manage prospects and a pipeline, and close deals. It was purposely, it was purposely designed to lower co the cost of customer acquisition and is linked with, market, with a marketplace of products and services so Chris can grow his own book of business quickly. So what's it like to use? Let me take you through six steps all new salespeople should take when first logging in. Sales and Success Center resides on a unique URL. I highly recommend bookmarking this page, especially on your mobile device, so you can close new deals on the go. When you first log in, update your contact details in settings. Think of this like setting up your digital business card. Info, where, info here will show up automatically in a ton of different places. After you log in for the first time, things might look a bit empty, but don't worry. It's super, super easy to add prospects automatically. Click Create Prospect in the top right, then simply search for the business you're prospecting to. Our system is powered by Google and will automatically pull in all of, your, all of the essential info. This is a huge time saver. Adding an account full of details takes only seconds. While he's adding a prospect, Chris has the option to generate a snapshot report. If you don't already know, snapshot report is an automated needs assessment that scans the web for businesses' digital marketing. It gives them a performance grade on advertising, listings, social media, reviews, and website. Snapshot reports are ready to go in roughly 10 minutes. However, depending on how difficult the business is to find online, we recommend waiting 24 hours before sending it off to a prospect. There's a couple ways to deliver the snapshot report. First and foremost, it can be printed for an in-person consultation. It's the perfect conversation starter and truly helps salespeople get their foot in the door. Snapshot reports can also be emailed directly through Sales and Success Center. However, we've developed a better way to help a better way to deliver these reports, email campaigns. This way, your prospect will get a steady stream of content specific to their needs delivered right to their inbox. You'll stay top of mind and will have the opportunity to follow up only when those that open your email, uh, follow up only with those who open your email. While waiting on an email campaign to send, salespeople can become the trusted local expert by educating themselves on all of the marketing solutions offered. They can dig deep into each of the products and services or learn more about each of their packages available to sell. Key messaging, collateral, and presentations are, right in, are built right in so they don't have to waste time putting together a pitch. Everything is right at their fingertips. Finally, after automatically creating prospects, sending them an email, sending them campaign emails with their snapshot report, and becoming the local expert, 
All that's left is to wait for new hot leads to start appearing. These indicate interactions prospects had with your marketing content, like their snapshot report, and shows a one to three flame indication of their hotness. Three, th three flames are super hot, but can cool down quickly after about two days. Uh, two flames mean your prospect might have just simply opened the email but did not click through to the snapshot. One flame means they looked at the snapshot five to seven days ago and things cool off completely after seven days. There are other ways a salesperson can get a hot lead notification and we'll cover that soon. In this example, we'll start with Chris Porter sending off an email campaign containing a snapshot report to Brood Awakening. Let's learn more about Brood Awakening. Marsha Ramirez is the single owner. Her problem? Well, she's incredibly busy. She understands the importance of digital marketing, but, only, but has only been able to get involved with what she's familiar with. In Marsha's case, She's completely engaged with her customers on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. She built a loyal following and loves sharing pictures of her unique and beautiful business. A snapshot report Chris created for her shows exactly that. An A in social, an a in social is something for her to be proud of. It means she's outscoring other businesses like hers. But snapshot isn't too kindly with the other categories. Listings, reviews, website, all things this business could be doing better at. So let's hope that Marsha isn't in for a rude awakening. While she's casually browsing on her tablet one day, Marsha receives an email from Chris and opens it to see the content. Seconds later, she quickly brushes the email aside. Since Marsha only opened the email Chris sent her, Chris will only be notified with a two flame indication in Sales and Success Center. That's perfectly fine, but not quite the hot lead Chris wants. Still, Chris takes action. He looks at the snapshot report for Brood Awakening and starts thinking of different solutions that will help uh, the poor score. He consults his training resources built into Sales and Success Center to educate himself. While all this is happening, a new prospect is discovering your agency. Steve Morrison, a franchisee of the Regulus Auto Sport chain of car dealerships. He's been doing some research online on digital marketing for his location. Why? He's noticed that some that any time he searches used cars for competitor, uh, his competitors are showing up in the search results far before his location. He's angry about that. Cro crossed arms, scowl, I mean, look at him. Despite being a bit upset now, Steve's team provides amazing customer service. He has tons of amazing reviews, and he wants the world to know with a targeted ad campaign. So how does he discover your agency? Ironically, you're running a Facebook ad that targets Steve. This, direct, this directs him to a landing page asking him to generate a free snapshot report. This is done through the snapshot widget. This highly customizable lead capturing tool is set up in a matter of minutes. Not only can it work as part of a landing page in a targeted ad, ad campaign, but it can also be added anywhere you like embed it on your website, link it in your email signature, really wherever you want. So 10 minutes after filling out the snapshot widget, Steve receives an email with his report for Regulus Autosport. It shows him that he is in fact not participating in digital advertising and gives him an idea of some keywords to bid on with Google AdWords. This gets Chris excited. Any business that submits their information through the snapshot widget shows up as a three flame lead in Sales and Success Center. The account is also automatically created. So Chris has everything he needs to call and close Steve on a digital marketing package. What's great about snapshot widget 
is that it can be easily assigned and connected with a sale with a single salesperson or cycle automatically through all salespeople. This way, the incredibly hot leads are evenly dispersed amongst everyone. So anyways, back to our story. Chris is about to call on Steve and ask him about his report when suddenly we have a third business who needs our help. Celine Maru owns Kobayashi Maru Sushi Bar with her brother Len. They totally understand what their business needs, a new website with search engine optimization. Celine found your agency's website organically through search and decided to check out all your packages, check out all the packages your agency has to offer. It's easy to embed everything you're offering right on your website. It takes a couple of clicks to have your own public facing store. And even if you aren't offering exactly the services your clients are looking for, you can instantly update everything in just a few minutes. This means you can tweak your packages and offerings on the fly. Celine sees your protector package and decides to request more information from a salesperson. This is all connected to, you guessed it, Sales and Success Center. Chris receives any requests for more information directly from the public store on your website. So to recap, in the span of just a few minutes, our friend Chris has acquired three hot, lead, three hot new leads from three different businesses. Marsha from Brood Awakening opened her snapshot email, but remember, she didn't click through to the snapshot report. Steve from Regulus Autosport discovered his snapshot report through the snapshot widget, and Celine from Kobayashi Maru Sushi Bar requested to purchase directly from a salesperson from your agency's website. That's a lot of hot leads. So how does Chris prioritize? Well, he might start by following up with Celine, then calling Steve. They're both hotter than Marsha and are surfaced at the top, very top of the Sales and Success Center. He might follow up with Marsha later, but right now he's taking care of his hottest new leads. So Chris calls Celine and Steve, but they're hard to get a hold of. Celine, even though she requested to purchase, says that she's just too busy to talk. Over time, the hotness rating for both of these businesses will cool down. So how does Chris keep track of the new opportunities? Knowing where to invest his time can be difficult. The answer is built right in. Opportunities are easy to create in Sales and Success Center. To log an opportunity, you'll just need to know the package or packages your prospect is interested in. A percentage of how likely you think the deal is to close and when you expect the deal to happen. Once created, opportunities are added to your pipeline. This way you can keep track of your total revenue on pending deals, sort by like likelihood of close, and get a bird's eye view of everyone that you've talked to. You can also edit any opportunity over time. If, you, if your client is thinking about buying a bigger package or has ghosted you on a few phone calls, you can adjust the expected revenue and probability of a close accordingly. Now, Chris can easily look at which opportunities have the highest potential revenue, which are most, which are most likely to close, and which should be closing tomorrow, this week, or sometime in the next six months. If his manager is pushing him to, uh, to have X amount of dollars closed by Friday, he'll be able to head into his pipeline and think, okay, these are the accounts I should be calling on, and these are the ones I can leave for another day. After following up a few times with Celine and Steve, he creates opportunities and sets their close probability to 85 and 75% respectively, with an expected close date for the end of the month. But what about Marsha? 
she's kind of fallen off the map, which is fine. I mean, Chris was busy trying to close deals with prospects that have expressed far more interest. Marsha hasn't forgotten about Chris either. In fact, she receives another email from him, which it was sent automatically from the campaign that Chris added her, added, uh, her to. He's staying, on to. he's staying top of mind without even trying. Now that Marsha has a bit of extra time, she finally sits down to review her snapshot report. Of course, this triggers a new three flame lead in no, a notifi notification for Chris. He calls Marsha right away to set up a new opportunity in Sales and Success Center. On the call, Chris discovers Marsha is a bit more resistant to price. A lot of smaller businesses are like this. They'd rather try before they buy. The snapshot report has a call to action right at the top. If a business owner clicks get started, they can jump right into the business center free of charge. Once in business center, there's a list, there's a free listing product for Marsha to check out. Chris walks Marsha through the, through this process. It only takes a minute. He points out that while the business center, that while in the business center, Marsha can easily reach out to him at any time. His contact information is prominently displayed alongside the various digital marketing, marketing packages she can purchase for Brood Awakening. He lets her know that he'll follow up sometime soon. So let's wrap things up for Chris. Finally, when he closes a deal or decides they're no longer worth his time, the next step is to mark the opportunity as closed one or lost. Any time an opportunity is closed, it can't be edited further. So take extra caution with this step. Marking an account as closed one will impact the revenue you see associated with an account. And, market, and, market, and marking as closed lost gives you the chance to add a reason. Keeping track of these over time will let you find common pitfalls and determine if you need to make changes to your packages, pricing, or sales method. After a bunch of calls, Chris reaches out to Celine once again. It turns out this was an easier sales cycle. She just needed to run things by her brother. They end up buying the website website and SEO package that was on your website's public facing store. Chris sends her a contract and alerts his manager of the sale so he can get everything set up. Oh, and of course, Chris closes the opportunity as one in Sales and Success Center. After a while, Celine begins to see new customers popping by and sees her business at the number one search result for Sushi Near Me. An absolute success. Chris can also add Celine to an adoption email and then uh, an adoption campaign and send her regular emails to engage her with the solutions she's just purchased. Unfortunately, not every lead can be a winner. After a number of conversations, Chris discovers that Steve isn't the decision maker for Regulus Autosport. Since he's a franchisee, he unfortunately doesn't have a ton of control over the main marketing strategy. Sadly, Chris should uh, should sorry, Chris sadly Chris should close his initial opportunity as lost. It'll be easier for him to keep track of this in the long run. Marsha continues to see her free business center. Marsha continues to use her free business center login and she interacts with the software. Chris gets email notifications when she views packages available to purchase. Chris can further automate his sales process with Marsha. He removes her from the snapshot email campaign he was sending her and adds her to a campaign surrounded, uh, surrounding paid listing services, a perfect fit as Marsha is expressing a ton of interest in the free products she's received.
Meanwhile, Chris's opportunity shows up in the loop. This is a place where the salespeople can see their co see what their coworkers are up to and learn from each other. So, so that's where we leave Chris with closed one, closed lost, and pending opportunities. As he continues to use Sales and Success Center, he'll be building out his pipeline and closing more deals. In summary, what makes Sales and Success Center special? It lets you know when your prospects are ready to buy. Join the thousands of salespeople who have used our award-winning digital needs ex assessment, the Snapshot Report, to warm up cold leads. Combine this report with ready-made email campaigns, a lead generation widget, and digital store to help reduce your cost of client acquisition. You can also ensure the ongoing success of your clients drive continuous engagement, and sell more products. Salespeople will always know about recent client activities so they can follow up with their clients' needs, follow up with their clients as their needs change. Meanwhile, they'll be able to track and upsell their cross-sell initiatives with opportunities and the sales pipeline. And finally, become the trusted local expert Bring yourself up to speed quicker with preloaded resources, including training videos, sales decks, FAQs, and marketing collateral. 